Today was quite a day, so I'm looking forward to a little bit of art therapy. So when I go to physical therapy, there's a real sweet gal there that she's just always encouraging people who are in a lot of pain and being supportive and helping them through that. And she lost her dog, who was four years old, and her horse within two weeks of each other back in June. You know, your pets are really, especially in times of stress, who you look forward to just spending time with to feel better, right? So I wanted to do a commemorative painting for her. So I asked her to send me a couple photos of her pets and they're just gorgeous. So I've been appreciating that as I've been painting them. And hopefully I can really just portray who they were to her for her to have just a really special memory. And I'm hoping she'll be there on Friday so I can give this to her. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift. Well, let's just say better late than never, right? It's really important to me if I set my mind out to do something that I actually do it and sometimes just starting is the hardest thing. So I don't know what you put on your 2021 goals, but I think I wanna do six paintings this year. And I'm wondering if I need to do them all before baby comes in May, because I'm not sure how things are gonna go once baby comes. <laughs> so this is painting number one of the new year. So let me show you a time-lapse video of what I've done already. And then you'll see me wearing this once again for what I'm doing today to finish it up. I hope you'll enjoy. So I start out my paintings by taking 20 to 30 minutes to do a rough sketch before applying any paint. And you can hear my kids' commentary in the background because they were home from school at the beginning of January. What are you doing? Coming up with an idea. Oh, that's a horse? It will be. Something like that with the dog. Because I'm putting the animals' faces here and then that's the scene of them together on the infant. Why are you erasing the dog? Well, because I think I need to make it zoom back a little bit more. You need to make them smaller? Yeah, because like, I want the focal point to be right there. I used to feel like I didn't really have time to do painting or other creative endeavors because I was a mom and my house was a mess. But I just realized that we all have the same amount of time in the day and successful, productive people make time for what matters to them. I'd listened to Michael Hyatt's podcast and then his book, Your Best Year Ever, and I just realized that if it's about time management, I can learn how to do that better. And you hear me talking about decluttering all the time so that I have less inventory in my home to manage and that frees up time for creativity. So as a result, my kids get a happier mommy and we have a happier home. So I guess if you want to take away from this video, remember that if something's important to you, you can make time for it because the time is there, you just have to maybe shuffle around your priorities. How's it going? Um, now what are you doing? The dog? Mm -hmm. He's on the hay bale. What is a hay bale? A cube of hay. <laughs> it looks nice. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, Pat, where? <laughs>
So I was thinking about it and even though when I first painted this I thought it was like bright happy colors, it looks pretty dark. So I'm going to try to lighten that up with some pinks. And here's her dog. I think I could maybe add a little bit more of his chest so his head doesn't look so big. Um, and then move on to the horse. And it's really important to try to remember not to mix up your drinks with your paint water. <laughs> I think I could also add in some brown with the hay now that I see the, the shading a little bit better. I'm gonna put the metal on his collar. I've got about an hour to work, so hopefully I can get pretty far. I'm gonna use a big old round brush to try to brighten up the sky. I wasn't quite sure how to do that, but in the physical therapy office, there's this beautiful painting with this gorgeous cotton candy kind of sky. So I took some inspiration from that and I noticed that they had some pink in the clouds and I tried to work that in. Yeah, I'm a lot happier with that. I think it looks bright instead of just, you know, sad and dreary. So I'm going to move to shading the hay and, and then working on her beautiful horse. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna add some more weight to the dog. In every painting I do, I seem to struggle most with two things, getting shading deep enough to really bring the image to life and, and make it jump out of the page. I tend to be kind of timid with darkness, uh, the, the contrast of dark and light, as well as proportion. I really do struggle with this. You can see me correcting the dog's paw as well as uh, other things like his chest area. And I usually have to go back and correct some of those things in every painting that I do, but it's worth the struggle. And you can let me know in the comments below if you see any other areas where I didn't have quite the right proportions, there's always room for improvement. Something else I'm trying to become better at in my paintings is having a lot of color and different tones in each portion of the painting. So like skin tone, instead of just picking three colors like, I don't know, tan, brown, and, and gray or whatever, I'm trying to put in even more colors like red and yellow and blues and stuff. So you can see with this horse, it was interesting to, to try to work in more depth through color and hopefully I achieved that a little bit more than I have been able to in my past painting. So I'm enjoying growing more as an artist and hopefully that's, um, hopefully that comes through in my paintings. I've never painted a horse before, so I'm not sure how to add more depth. I think I'm going to have to call it good. Uh, obviously, there's always room for improvement in art. And um, so I'm going to add some little hay sticking out and finish that up and then sign it. Well, I'm finished. It's 10.43 p.m. I think this has taken at least eight hours and I'm tired, so I'm going to call it a day. And tomorrow, at some point, I'm going to try to spray it with some varnish just to seal it and that'll hopefully make it stand out a little bit more. And I'll show you a little bit closer. I think my favorite part is that part. Um, 
Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That's really encouraging to me as a YouTuber and artist. And if you want to see more creative things that I'm up to, make sure that you subscribe below and hit that notification bell because I've got lots more creativity coming up. If you want to keep watching more of my time-lapse painting videos, click this playlist and YouTube thinks you'd enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.